Hello, welcome back. This is CoinPig. So here we are again. This is the new release from the Royal Mint. Again, as you saw, didn't go as smoothly as planned. Um, but this is William Wyon's The Three Graces. And you can see already at the time of recording, which is about 17 minutes after the, uh, the apparent release, they've all sold out, apart from the two ounce silver proof coin. So, should we have a look at the, the coin itself? But before we do that, just a reminder to subscribe for future content. So, here we are then. This is the Three Graces gold proof and silver proof coins that released today, the 22nd of February. And, of course, they're promoting other coins because we know that they're not going to last but you can have a look here with all the details about the daughters of zeus otherwise known as the three graces this is william wyon's three graces and well it's a modern interpretation of his design so you can see that there are four different designs there are two gold and two silver coins now as i said there were anyway <laughs> three graces 2020 five ounce gold proof coin a two ounce gold proof coin and similar weights in silver these are the designs the william wyons three graces as you can see it says the great engravers collection which is this is the continuation of um, you saw the una and the lion in 2019 now this coin was due to come out in 2020 um, and you'll see why in a moment so there have been depictions of the three graces for i don't know 500 years or more and the ancient god of thunder greek god of thunder and the sky zeus had three daughters apparently i mean i don't know whether that's true but apparently and these are a representation of those three daughters the three graces we'll see these are modern interpretations of the coin on the coins of the original william wyon design i believe from 1817 something like that so let's have a look at the coin that is still available this is the three graces 2020 note the year uk two ounce silver proof coin it's a 2020 coin because it was due to come out last year it was a follow-on essentially from the 2019 una and the lion um so Here's the spec. I'll just I'll just look at the we'll just let you look at the spec for a moment. And you can pause it here if you need to know more details. But it's a limited edition of three and a half thousand. It's two hundred and fifty pounds. That's a considerable increase. I think it was one hundred and eighty pounds, something like that, last time. One hundred and ninety maybe. But I think it was one hundred and eighty pounds last time. And um, that's a considerable price increase in well just over a year. So limited edition of three and a half thousand is quite high. But it is only a two-ounce silver-proof coin here. Yeah. Um, as you can see, it has sold out now. So very, very popular series of coins. These uh, great engravers are going to be by lots of it. I'm not sure if they're going to replicate the Queen's Beast success. Um, perhaps they already have in some ways. In these, but the fact that this is a 2020 coin being released towards the end of February 2021 indicates how all things have been slightly moved around should we say, um, by the Royal Mint over the last uh, year. Yes, it says the first coin in the series sold out completely. Well, of course it did, um, because it was a William Wyon design. This one has also sold out now. So um, let's have a look again at the, the series of coins. Now, I'm surprised that they've only released four coins, to be honest. The first of which here is the five ounce gold proof coin limited edition of 150 11,995 pounds let's have a quick look at the actual design on these coins shall we we haven't really looked at the designs directly so there we are there's the design there's the three graces or at least the interpretation of the three graces and uh, there's the William Wyon name now I must admit I'm not that familiar with the three graces as a concept as a as an idea um although i am aware that they've been around for a while there's several paintings and several sculptures dotted around the world boxes that 
it comes in with the initials or the signature of William Wyon on the side of the box. But this is the posh box. This is the box that comes in, the wooden box, with the additional plaque on the back with the raw mint. So, yeah, I mean, you're paying almost £12,000. So they ought to provide a plaque. <laughs> this, is the, this is the first of the four coins. Limited edition of 150, I thought was quite low. I would have expected 250 on this particular one, bearing in mind the previous uh, coins sold out very, very quickly. Despite, despite the fact that it's £12,000 almost. Sadly, they missed out. I think, I think they were thinking maybe, maybe things won't be as, as uh, good in the first and the second one, but they've been keeping us waiting for such a long time at the Royal Mint. Yeah, I mean, it was always going to sell out, especially with a mintage figure as low as 150. Again, looking at the specification, £500 denomination, maximum coin mintage in total of 160, so they've added 10. Four nines fine gold, there's the weight, diameter, and so on. Yeah, I mean, I like this coin. I don't know if it's as good as the Una and the Lion, in that uh, clearly it's been uh, messed with over the inter in the interpretation. I mean, I'm not sure if they used the same dies as the original coin back in the Una and the Lion uh, days, back in 2019, but um, maybe, maybe not. It doesn't actually say that, I've noticed. It's just a reinterpretation. I think it's just... I think it's just a copy, to be honest. <laughs> a modern copy. Reinterpretation sounds better than a copy, I suppose. Here we are. That was the first gold proof coin, £12,000 if you got it. This is the second, slightly less, at uh, just under £5,000, £4,995. Limited edition of 325 Still a very low number, um, but nowhere near as low as the 150 Now, I'm guessing they, they sell the number of coins based on the price. In most cases but uh, let's have another look at the design again there's the jc portrait by the way and the box same box well that's it same design anyway and this time you don't get the plaque you just get the certificate of, of authenticity it's easy for you to say sometimes <laughs> but there it is yeah i don't know that i like that ugly picture of it with the <laughs> with the little, little mark to the to the uh, well, about, so about half one. <laughs> um, yeah, not sure that I like that on the on the actual photograph. Um, there's the spec, uh, two hundred pound denomination, three hundred and thirty five in total. So again, another ten. I'm not sure where all these tens go. Whether that, whether they use them for trial of the picks um, coins, I don't know. There's there's definitely a need for these additional ten every time. I think in most cases, anyway. Let's have a look at the 5-ounce silver-proof coin. 500, limited edition on this one. £555, there's the design. I don't know if I like it in silver better than I like it in gold, actually. Um, and I'm not quite sure what that is supposed to be, actually. I should probably look it up and find out. So, yeah, you can see the representation of England, Ireland and Scotland. The thistle of Scotland, the harp of Ireland, and I'm not sure what that is <laughs> still of England. Apparently Wales doesn't count so there we are that's uh, the United Kingdom as it was at the time. But um, yeah, there's the JC portrait the box is £555 for what is 5 ounces of gold, of silver is quite a hefty premium. There's the denomination it's a £10 coin, 510 so again, another 10 it's three nines fine silver and there we are, there's the information that you need to know no longer available, of course, but who knows? You might be able to pick it up on a secondary market for a slight premium on the £555. Of course, if you're looking, if you're watching this video in 2030, then who knows? It might, it may, the market may have collapsed, and it may only be worth the 30 quid. On the other hand, it may not, but we'll see. There we are. That was the five ounce. Let's have another look at the two ounce silver proof coin. 3,500, 250 pounds. There's the spec. 3,510. It's a five pound coin denomination, which is only, well, that is half the previous one, even though it hasn't got half the amount of silver. So um, perhaps that's the better value. I don't know. 
There's the design again. You can see it's the same design on all of the coins, as far as I can tell. The JC portrait in the box, with, again, with the, the signature from William Wyan on the edge. Well, there's not a lot to say about this coin. I mean, apart from the fact that it's been delayed, apart from the fact that it's obviously going to be a popular coin, there's not a great deal more to say. This, I mean, I'm guessing, I don't know whether they, whether they intend to release additional versions of this coin, but really they've only released four versions. Two ounce, five ounce versions of silver and gold. And that seems like they're missing a trick here. Are they missing, are miss, missing an opportunity? I would have thought that uh, releasing a one ounce coin of both the gold and the silver would be the most obvious that they've missed out, but who knows? Anyway, you can look at the video on YouTube by the looks of it that uh, the Royal Mint have uh, come up with. There's the information about the Daughters of Zeus again. Let's, uh, let's have a look, see what we can find. And there's the Three Graces, William Wyam R.A.'s early career masterpiece. It was, I believe, in uh, 18, does it say? 1816, 1817, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, he was, he was a well-connected person here. Yeah. Um, there's the information there. Uh, William Wyand's output between 1816 and 1851. So yeah, the three crown, the three graces pattern crown of 1817. So that was the original design, I'm guessing. And there, there we are. That's it, really. I think there's the the page for the three graces and the Una and the Lion, the William Wyon page, if you like, because there's only two designs, both by William Wyon at the moment. Let's just have a quick reminder of the Una and the Lion, shall we? And for some reason, they've only got the three designs. They've all sold out, of course. So yeah, Una and the Lion, only 3,000 of the two ounce silver coins, and it was 180 pounds. So they've increased the numbers there slightly by 500 and significantly increased the price. Now, obviously the price of silver did go up, I think, since the 2019 release. And you've got the two ounce gold proof coin and the kilo gold proof coin. Now the kilo gold proof coin didn't appear in this on this occasion. Um, there were only 12 of those in, back in 2019, but I'm sure there were more than three coins. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly what's happened there. And obviously because of the delay, things have changed dramatically. I don't know whether they were waiting for the price to go up before they released them. I don't know. <laughs> it's done now. It's gone. It's vanished. It's complete. It's no more. Anyway, Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll be back next time for some more. Just keep collecting.